morning guys so i have decided to do you can literally hear it in my voice this <laughs> morning but yeah i have decided to do another one of these like get healthy with me videos because he did like come along with me to see what i <laughs> eat <coughs> and how i work out for a day i do have a full day now, so i ain't got a lot of children oh my goodness you probably can't even hear me over the kettle um so as you saw i just did like a five minute yoga routine from yoga with adrian i can only really do that on days that i'm off because i really have time at like four in the morning to to do that before work oh my goodness my voice um so yeah i it's just a nice thing to do when you get up in the morning so i have started doing that and now i am super hungry so i'm gonna go make my breakfast and once the kettle boils, I'll go back into the kitchen and explain what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so the kettle has finally boiled, so I'm going to make my first thing of the day. So I literally used to drink this like every day and then I just stopped. Um, so I wanna get back into it because I know it's like a really good habit to have. Basically, what I'm having is the juice of a lemon and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in warm water so that is basically like how i'm trying to start my day hopefully it'll help me get over my cold as well uh because as you can hear my voice like i'm not well right now um i genuinely think it's got worse like i was not feeling this bad just over maybe it's just the morning maybe it's just the morning but yeah i just use this sweet like juicer it's so easy um, to juice a lemon, pour that in there, and then I grab a teaspoon of my apple cider vinegar. As you can see, it's like nearly finished, but I have another one in the cupboard, so it's all good. Um, there's like a teaspoon in there. Oh, the smell of it is awful. Like, it generally doesn't even taste as bad as it smells. Some hot water. And yeah, I just kind of drink that as I am making my breakfast. So this morning for my breakfast, I really didn't know what I fancied. So I think I'm gonna make like Greek yogurt with honey and walnuts and then maybe a bit of fruit on the side as well because yeah, I can't really decide and I didn't want the fruit in the yogurt. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So let's do that now. This is the yogurt I'm using at the minute. You probably already know it because it's so popular. But it's just got the best texture, I think, of like a Greek yogurt. Other than the ones that were actually in Greece. Like, don't even talk to me about that. I wish I was back in Greece. Greek yogurt, honey and walnuts over there. Like, any mornings I wasn't having some like super unhealthy like pancakes and Nutella. I was having Greek yogurt honey and walnuts because it was delish. So I'm just gonna pop some of that into my bowl and some walnuts and then some honey on top. Yes, so that is literally my favourite honey for making this breakfast with because it's Greek <laughs> and it tastes the closest to like the honey in Greece. I've never tasted honey like honey in Greece. It was the nicest thing in the world. Like you know the way honey has that sort of weird taste, like that weird aftertaste? Like Greek honey just didn't and it was <gasps> so good. So yes, here is my finished breakfast, my uh, fruit and my Greek or walnuts and honey. And then my nearly finished apple cider vinegar and lemon and then i'm probably gonna have a coffee afterwards so yeah i'm just gonna go and enjoy this so i am just gonna get on with some uni work now i had my breakfast and then i did go and get a coffee if you're wondering literally all that's in my coffee is uh nescafe barista blend nicest coffee ever highly recommend if you're into instant coffee i know a lot of people aren't but it's the one i like so I had that and then some Rude Health almond milk which can I just say is the nicest almond milk to have in your coffee because I know a lot of them go like, what do you call that? The way they all go funny because they're not dairy in, in tea and uh, coffee and stuff. 
but root health doesn't at all and it oh my goodness if you haven't tried it in your coffee you need to so yeah but as I was saying I am just gonna get on with some uni work now because I am stressed <laughs> uh, my dissertation is due in about two months and I have a lot of other stuff due in between now and then as well so I need to get on with that um I think I'm probably about halfway through my dissertation which is quite good um but I would just like to get a bit of a bit ahead um because obviously I'm going away in April which is sort of like our last month before our assignments are due which probably wasn't the best planned ever but to me that was Easter so I was going away um but yeah so I'm gonna do that and it's currently 8 53 in the morning I'm actually sort of thinking I might change my lock screen because that's been my lock screen for a while um so yeah it's 8 53 in the morning usually I do like to work out before I start doing uni work but I'm just not feeling this morning I think it's because I'm just feeling quite sick this morning so I will probably do it around lunchtime or something like that hello so it is a little bit later now it is about 12 30 and I am so hungry <laughs> so I'm gonna make my lunch um what was I gonna say yeah I've just kind of spent the morning doing uni work and then I edited a video as well and like literally I don't even know where the time's going like I was up before eight like that's the last time I was on the camera when I was making my breakfast it was like 20 to 8 and now it's half 12 and I'm like where did that time go but yeah so I'm going to make my lunch um which is gonna be so boring because I literally have the same lunch every day like if you've watched any of my get healthy with me before healthy with me's how do I say this my get healthy with me's before I think that's how I say it uh you will be like you literally have it all the time it's a wee bit different but um yeah anyway so i'm gonna do that and then i'm going to work out a little bit after that and i'll show you that anyway so yeah lunchtime actually do you know what scrap everything i just said i'm actually going to have a snack Noi and do my workout and then have lunch because it's still kind of early for me to have lunch and yeah i just rather have it after i work out so what i'm having for a snack is one of these i made these yesterday they are little like peanut butter uh protein balls literally all that's in them is peanut butter um protein powder maple syrup and then coated in dark chocolate and they're so good so Okay, so now that, that has like subsided my hunger a little bit, um, I still look insane. <laughs> um, but yeah, now that, that has like subsided my hunger a little bit, I am going to do my workout and I'll show you what I'm doing. It is pre-training week two of the Kayla Sinus, it's arms and abs. So yeah, as usual, 28 minute workout, uh, two circuits, two uh, seven minute circuits, but you do them twice. So it ends up 28 minutes and then stretch afterwards. So yeah, I'm going to do that before I have lunch. Okay, so basically I have kind of started to find that circuit a wee bit repetitive and a wee bit boring. So what I've done is, so far, I've done like one of each circuit for seven minutes. So I did this one for seven minutes and then I did this one for seven minutes and then I did seven minutes basically from here to here and just kept going for the seven minutes. But now I'm going to do the Alexis Ren ab workout on YouTube. It's ten minutes long so it will make this workout a wee bit longer like by like three minutes but um, yeah I'm just kind of bored of this so that is why I'm doing that. It's just because there is only four moves and they don't take that long in this one. So it's just got a wee bit boring for me. So I'm going to change it up and do the Alexis Ren one and then that'll be me done. Hello. So as you can see, I am like just out of the shower and now I'm going to make my lunch. I am flipping starving. It's like half one. So what I'm going to have is two pieces of wheat and bread, two eggs, two poached eggs. I am getting good at making... Mm, let's not say that because I'll jinx myself. <laughs> um... Two poached eggs, let's fingers crossed they go well. And then two pieces of turkey bacon, which I will show you now. Mm. 
yeah i am using this turkey bacon it is so good like i hate the fat on bacon oh you can't even see me i not even in like a health way like ugh, it actually just makes me feel sick i hate the taste of fat on bacon and obviously that doesn't have any of that so i much prefer that because then one food isn't going waste and two I don't have to like deal with the fat because it's disgusting. <laughs> um, if you like it, then that's fine. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I'm not judging. I just don't like it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for my lunch, and I'm gonna make it now because I'm just starving. Okay, so my new trick for making my poached eggs, which is why I've actually been going okay recently, is to crack the egg. Oh. Crack the egg into a glass first. There we go. And then instead of having to crack it into the pot when the water's spinning, which is just so awkward because we've only got two hands and you're like trying to like crack this egg and like, yeah. But um, basically just have to pop it in from the glass and it just makes it so much easier so they turn out a little bit better. So fingers crossed it works this time because I don't want to look like an idiot saying this works and then it, it doesn't work, so fingers crossed it works. I literally knew <coughs> as soon as I said that my poached eggs were getting better that <laughs> they wouldn't go well, so fingers crossed my second attempt will work. It should, I think. I think I did better this time, so fingers crossed. Okay, so my second attempt actually did turn out quite well and now I have egg number three, unfortunately, on and yeah. Woohoo! So there we finally have it. Two poached eggs, two pieces of turkey bacon, uh, some wheat and bread and a little bit of Philadelphia on there as well. Let's do a wee... Uh... Oh yes, that is exactly how we want our yolk. OMG. Love that. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy this. I'm just gonna finish this what I eat in a day with this uh, hot chocolate from Options. They are so good. That salted caramel one is my favourite. Um, but yeah, so that is everything I have eaten today um, and my workout as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to head down below and let me know what you enjoyed. Um, give it a like as well and hit subscribe to see more. And if you would like to see more of these, let me know that as well and yeah i will see you for a new video next sunday bye